mijn naam is David Omar. Ik kom uit Nederland. Ik heb Jiddisch geleerd in het programma van het Maison de la Culture Jiddisch in de zomer van 2019. Bonjour, ik ben Sophie. Ik ben Lila. Ik kom uit Antwerpen, België. Dobre dag. Mijn naam is Jala. Ik ben Oekraïne. Shalom, ik ben Sachel Feinberg. אני מירושלים במקור. איסם יביטה פיינצ'ק, פחות אסקולסקי. I have never participated in any program about anything that was so worthwhile. זה פרוגרם כי קומפלטמון אימרשי. דונק זה קור למטן, יידיש על הפוס קפה, אקטיביטי הפרימידי, קוויזין, תיאטר, פילם, מוזיק, היי מרבט. The teachers are also just amazing. And I love summer courses because they create this whole atmosphere where you have all of the different levels of language learning and a whole social atmosphere that is created besides the courses. I participated in different programs, I mean, in different countries. The Paris program is somewhat pe peculiar for several aspects. Yeah? So um, the first aspect is that uh, it's connected around people who are really passionate about Yiddish that seem to look like people uh, that are not just interested in having a job, but people who are interested about something deeper and something more important behind the job. I, I came to the summer program not knowing any Yiddish practically uh, and advancing very quickly throughout the levels because the, uh, the teaching is absolutely phenomenal and entirely in Yiddish. But the other thing I um, liked about the program was the fact that um, in my class there were uh, people uh, in my age but also some um, elderly people it was um, also um, a re really interesting experience for me to uh, listen all those uh, personal his histories of, uh, of these people. And uh, yeah, that was really, um, yeah, the, something new for me. Yiddish is one of the things that is both old and re refreshingly young. It keeps rejuvenating itself. Le, le yiddish me fascine parce que c'est la langue d'une diaspora qui fait sienne différentes cultures, idiomes pour euh, créer un langage euh, singulièrement juif. Because there aren't a lot of people studying it, but the people who are studying it are so devoted to it, and the teachers you get are so good that it makes you feel like you're the first person discovering it. That it was in Paris that I encountered so many people whose level of yiddish is really advanced. I would say that it was only in Paris that, that I realized how many people, I mean, who are students of the school, not only the teachers of the school, how advanced they are and how advanced the Yiddish is. And, and it's not about the grammar and it's not about some, you know, basic rules. It's about this deep understanding of culture and literature. One thing I like a lot about the Maison de Culture Yiddish's approach is that there is a big emphasis on Yiddish culture today and whatever that might look like. And, there's, um, and there are boundless options. It's, uh, it's a world onto itself. We can do whatever we want with this language. Um, thanks to the participation in the, the program, I started to feel like I'm a part of a bigger community of uh, Yiddish uh, secular speakers uh, and um, I um, met new, new friends from all over the world um, with different backgrounds and until today I keep in touch with them. So yeah, it was a really um, life-changing experience. <laughs> a appris une chanson sur les patates euh, qui est devenue un peu l'hymne l'hymne de toute la, la suite du programme. Did you just talk about the bulbous song? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good. 
Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's a classic. <laughs>